You know, I, I, I would imagine that the, that the NYPD is going to say, well, well, we'll tell you what's going on around. We'll keep you informed. And, and again, I don't believe it. They haven't always been forthcoming with information. There have been rumors for months now about um, the police department encrypting their radios. And what that means is that we won't be able to hear them. Uh, we hear them currently on, on uh, analog radios. How will you know if there's news? If the um, NYPD decides that they don't want you to know, you're not going to know. Who are they to determine what the news is? Time we've been sitting here, we have a second alarm and all hands and a, and a shooting on Rockway Avenue. And this is after I've been sitting here doing nothing. Over. My name is Todd Mazel. Let's rock and roll. I've lived in Brooklyn all of my life. I am the breaking news editor at AM New York. I'm in this business of 37 years. Uh, I have 18 years as a spot news photographer. 81, 82, I started listening to radios. I was the um, photo editor at my college newspaper. I was a journalism student and I had a camera. So I just started taking pictures and I seemed to be a real good photographer. I had a good eye for it. I liked the chase. The chase was all, was everything. I mean, that was the excitement, the adrenaline. It's the adrenaline in the street is, it's just all encompassing. You're there, the shooting just happened people laying on the ground, people crying. You see the pain, you see the anguish, the tears. Some breaking news guys sit in their cars all day long. Uh, they'll do other stories in between, but they'll listen to the radios. I, I will listen to three at once. More than that, it gets a little confusing. I'll listen to fire police. Uh, at least two police channels at once. Minutes and seconds do matter. I can tell you of many instances where I get there and the victims are still there. The witnesses are still there. Uh, people get to talk to me. I get to see it. I get to know what's happening. I, mean, I don't wish for a fire, but I wish to be there. Same thing with all the crime that goes on, I don't wish it to happen. I, especially after 9-11, I don't wish for anything, really. Um, I just wish that I'm there. I wish you all Merry Christmas. Thank you. and I'm Thank thankful you so you're all Thank okay. You. Thank you. That's Thank it. You That's so the much. bottom line. Who's your favorite breaking news photographer of all time in New York City? Well, obviously, Ouija is who I follow. He was the first to get a, a police scanner in his car from the NYPD, by the way. And he captured the city the way it ought to be captured. He went out there and captured it raw, captured it for what it was. Um, with all the bumps and bruises and all the warts. And, and you know what? That's the right way to handle things. That's the right way to, to, to portray the news. If I hear something on the radio and, and I believe that it's good, even before they get there, I might start out in that direction. And then when I get there, it, it, I will get there first. We cannot afford to allow ourselves to lose this part of what we do. Because if we lose this, transparency is gone. The NYPD is going to put out the good news. and back the news that they don't like.